Dr. Piyush Singhania, Professor of Urology, practicing in Navi, Mumbai. Today I would like to talk about benign enlargement of prostate gland. So very commonly we hear about patients uh, suffering from prostate gland enlargement. Mostly it occurs in patients in men who are more than 50 years old. Now prostate gland is actually a small walnut sized gland which is located just below the urinary bladder. So if we see this model, this is the urinary bladder here where which stores the urine which is produced by the kidneys from higher up. Now th this is the white colored structure that you can see is the prostate gland and the pipe urethra which through which we pass urine passes through the center of the prostate gland. So we can see in this picture very clearly. So this is the urinary bladder which stores the urine and the urine comes out through a pipe called urethra and this urethra passes through the center of the prostate gland. Now after 50 years of age normally the prostate gland starts enlarging in men. Now the reasons are not clearly known but it may be because of the change in the hormonal uh, milieu of the body which causes its enlargement. Now as the prostate gland enlarges it presses on the pipe urethra and therefore the patients start having urinary symptoms. So they start having difficulty in passing urine. So now what is the function of prostate gland? So normally prostate gland, the function of prostate gland is that it produces a fluid which forms part of the semen which carries sperms. Now once the prostate gland enlarges that mostly occurs after 50 years of age in men the men start having difficulty in passing urine. Like they have difficulty to initiate the urination. Sometimes they have intermittency. The urine stops and starts. The stream becomes poor. Sometimes they have to wake up more than two times, three times, four times in the night to pass urine. Whenever they feel the urgency to pass urine, they can't control it. So there is severe urgency to pass urine even during the daytime. Now, all these problems can be tackled both by medicines and in some cases surgi surgical options have to be. So if left untreated, prostate gland enlargement can have complications. So patients can develop stones in the urinary bladder, they can get urinary tract infections, they can uh, start have passing blood in urine, sometimes the bladder is not able to empty itself completely because of the obstruction and by the prostate gland this can lead to post void residual urine if left for a long time it can damage the bladder and if ignored further it can even have back pressure changes on the kidneys and damage to the kidney function therefore we should not ignore the symptoms of prostate enlargement patients more than 50 years who have got urinary difficulties should immediately come for consultation and take the proper treatment. Now how do we treat benign enlargement of prostate gland? So before initiating the treatment, we do a complete physical examination of the patient. We examine the prostate gland by per rectal examination, do certain tests like urine test, uroflowmetry that is the speed of the urine and uh, sonography, ultrasound of abdomen and pelvis. Now after seeing the kidney functions and all these tests, we decide on the further course of treatment which in most cases nowadays is with medicines because we have got very good alpha blockers and most of the patients are treated only with a tablet at night and nothing else. Very few patients who have got a huge enlargement of prostate gland or whose prostate glands are not responding to the medicines are given the option of surgery. Even if the patient requires a surgical treatment, it is minimally invasive. It does not require any cut or stitches. Uh, endoscope is passed through the normal urinary pipe that is the urethra and the prostate gland is removed from there. So there is nothing to worry or fear. Patients who are having prostatic symptoms should consult their urologist at the earliest, get themselves evaluated and treated. For more information or to book an appointment with us, you can contact our clinic or contact us through library.com.